everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from JaredSilvet and Polly.com. This is um, an older kitty. He has had a couple bouts of an ear hematoma. He's got these little black ceruminous cysts in the ear, so we can tell this is a chronic um, injury he's got going on. We have drained it. Now, this is the third time that we have drained it and it has come back. So we're gonna drain it today because it's late night on a Thursday night. Um, so I'm gonna put a needle in and drain the fluid out. It should, us usually it's a bloody fluid. Um, these happens, can happen from trauma, from cat fights, from ear mites, from ear infections. Typically these guys are shaking their heads. So this is the fluid that we're getting out. They're shaking their head or they're scratching at their ears and they're getting this, it's called an, an oral hematoma. So your ear has two sides to it, an inner, an inner or medial pinna and the lateral pinna. And with trauma or head shaking, um, the two pieces of skin will fill with fluid and you'll get what's called a hematoma. So right now, our, this is the quick down and dirty easy method to draining. We're draining with a butterfly catheter, um, trying to reduce the size of the pocket. And then I'm going to infuse a long acting steroid in it. He's gonna come back on Monday morning, which is the first time we can do surgery. And for that surgery, I'm gonna take an elliptical piece of tissue out of the medial side, and then I'm gonna take and put sutures through and through to hold the ear flaps closed, so to hold the medial and the lateral side closed. Some people use buttons, some people use pieces of IV tubing. Um, there are a couple places, a couple ways that you can do it, and that will keep the pinna from, from blowing up again. So that's the more permanent method of correcting these. Um, why don't you disconnect and we'll see if we can get some more. So, so sometimes the quick, easy method is just to drain the ear and then infuse it with a steroid. Um, but if you have recurrent oral hematomas, especially in cats, it's better to do the elliptical incision on the inside and then suture the ear flap together um, to just be done with it. They'll have to wear an e-collar for about three weeks, so they come back in three weeks later, and we remove the sutures, and then you have to always treat the underlying cause. So if it's ear mites, you have to treat it. Um, if it's trauma, you have to make sure that they avoid further trauma. And you know, for some of these guys, it just means chronic ear maintenance. So here's a good look inside his ear. All of those little ceruminous cysts are an indication that he's had chronic ear stuff going on. So he's just one of those guys that need better ear maintenance. If you have any questions about this, I, this procedure at this clinic is probably about $60. To put the sutures in is anesthesia, so it starts at about $150. But if you have any questions on this or anything else, you can reach me here at Jared's or probably.com. Take care.